Hey everyone, so this is the part 2 of all the softwares that I use. So today we'll be looking at a couple of uh, project management software and some uh, software that will help you create better materials. Um, and also I've got one software at the end of the video, which is not a free software, but it's a really helpful one. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. So the next software we'll be looking at is called Notion. So basically over here, I've created a template of how I would uh, manage all my 3D work. So I will have like separate sections for all the upcoming projects. So I've here written there, not started what's coming up, uh, what project is in the modeling stage, which project is in round one, round two, round three, final, and which project needs to go into post-production. So what you can do is basically, if you click new, you can type in a name. So I can write new commercial two, and then I can add any details, um, regarding the project in this section you can set priorities what priority this project will be at you can add your own tags and stuff you can set the client's name so if i say the client is abc so once that tag is created if i go into any other job i can say the client for this project is also abc so um you can also set the due date for this project so you will get um reminders um if you've got a bigger team working on a project so you can also assign different people to those projects so i can assign myself to this project who's doing the modeling who's doing the camera styling interior and stuff and then whenever you are communicating anything regarding this project um what you can do is basically you can do bullet points or even toggle list you can do toggle list if you want to keep everything nice and clean so um, I can say that at today, so this will add a tag for today. So, um, I sent an email to the client. That's it. So, um, so this will help me keep track of each and every communication that I've had inside the project. Um, I can also say, so I can change that to a bullet point that tomorrow send round two and then i can tag myself as well so i will get a reminder tomorrow to send this project off so there are multiple possibilities inside these software um and it's very easily customizable it's easy to use um you can move stuff around really easily and then um, you can add filters to filter out stuff. So just give it a try, see how you go. You can create your own templates. You can even search on the internet of all the different templates that people have created. You can even share and uh, download those templates. If I go in other section, I've got a separate page for all the scripts and the plugins that I use and I keep track of everything. And I've got a full detail of how to install each and everything, where I can find it, how to use it. So it's a very good piece of software to create sort of like your own Wikipedia of your knowledge and to also keep track of all the work that you're doing during the day and working on different projects. So have a play with it, create your own style and see uh, what you need to manage and how you can utilize this software. So the next software we'll be looking at is Manic Time. Um, if you're someone like me who likes to track their time um, on a project, how much time they spent uh, working on something very specific, if, if you want to track it or if you want to actually go back to a couple of days ago to see what you were doing at that point, yeah, uh, in a day like this is a really good software that i've been using for a couple of years now because i would be working on multiple projects and at the end of the day i would forget like how many hours have i spent on one project and how many on the other so what i'll do is at the end of the day like this software keeps running in the background and it keeps tracking 
all your activities that you're doing during the day if you're opening different uh, softwares if you are opening different folders each and everything will get tracked and you will see the start the end and the duration you were using that software for so what you can do is at the end of the day i can just go back and i can see i was oh i was having a zoom meeting which went on for almost 10 minutes so what i can do is if i click it it will show me at what point in the day was that meeting and then what i can do is basically i can highlight that section and then i can add tag meeting okay so now if i click here it will show me so today i was in meeting for 10 minutes and then if i now okay so i was having another meeting at that time i can select that area and i can just add meeting so now it's showing me there were two events during the day and the total time of meeting is 40 minutes and then if i select that area so basically i can say so from morning from 9 till almost 10 30 i was working on a house project so all these tags that you create will get carried across onto each and every day so if you can use older tags that you create within the software um and then if i click in different sections like it also records when you were active during the day and when you were inactive whenever you're away from the computer for i think after a couple of uh, minutes it will start recording that activity as away and it will show you if you were away from your pc during that time so like i took my lunch break from 1 30 to 2 30 so that section is red and i stopped working around six so all that section is red i wasn't using my computer but whenever i'm using my computer it will keep a track of each and every activity during the day it's a really good software and it will help you organize your um organize and actually manage different projects when you're working on them The next software we'll be looking at is image glass um it's basically really small software as a replacement for the default windows photos viewer because i felt like if you've got a uh, high-res images viewing in photos or uh, once you're flicking through the images there is a lag uh, when you're loading the next image uh, i find this software works really well and it's a lot faster than the default windows uh, viewer so whenever i open an image in this one it also shows me a full thumbnail list of all the images down at the bottom so i can click through them really quickly as well as i can scroll through them as well and also you can also color manage this software as well if you want to enable adobe srgb colors or just yes rgb colors you can do that as well you can change aspect ratios you can present and everything it's just really fast as compared to the default windows viewer so the next uh, software we'll be looking at is called materialize so this will basically help you in situations where you only have the diffuse map uh, for a material and you want to create the bump the normals the ao the metallic map for those textures so this gives you visual representation of your material um will look like at the end so what you need to do when you open the software so you can load the diffuse map so i can open up this material here so i've only got that one main diffuse image for this uh, map and i want to give it some depth so the first thing that i'll need to do is create the height map data for it so i'll hit create and then what you can do is it will give you sort of an overlay of what the effect of the height map is on this map so you can change how much of that it covers the whole map this is just a visual representation and then what you can do is start playing around with the settings for this map so this is a height map so everything um black will get pushed down everything white will get pushed up so 
you have to play around with these settings to create a map that you think will work best so um, to see what that map is actually adding to this main material you can click show full material and over here so I'll take the metallicness of the material I'll bring the light down just to see it more clearly and then you can see the parallax displacement and if you see there so basically this displacement is coming off from this map so you can see our edges were white so they are being pushed out and that manhole cover is being pushed down because that was really dark you can play around with the overall setting of how it looks and then you can create the normal map as well so same thing so the normal map will take some of the data from the height map once you're happy with everything um, you can export all these images out as separate files so if you want jpegs just hit jpeg and then you can hit save project go to desktop or whatever i'll do manhole click select so these are all the images that got exported from that software so you can bring all these maps into 3 studio max and create the same material and same quality that you were getting in this software without having to do much in 3 studio max okay so the last piece of software that we'll be looking at this is the only software that is not free um but it's only um i think around 40 to 45 australian dollars it's not that expensive and it's also just a one-time buy you don't have to like get a subscription or anything but this software is basically sort of like your own art wall like um just like pinterest um uh, but it, it, it's a software that you can install on your pc and you can keep everything locally on your pc available at all times rather than going on the internet and managing it there i rather prefer something which is always on my pc and always available locally um this software has helped me a lot when i'm working on a project because whenever i start working on a project what i like to do is basically look at different images different lighting conditions different materiality how the material relax reacts to the light what kind of different natures i can use what type of composition i can use so i've got like tags for each and everything that i feel is important to me and i might need to look at a bit later so again i can create tags and further tags in those um categories so i've got a main tag for like reference images which in which i've created tags for all different images of backyards and i've got images for bathrooms and stuff so this is something that is still in development i'm still working on adding more images to this library the good thing about this software is basically you can also see what colors are present in that image if you're going for some very unique look in your image so you can even search um similar images with that color tone in it so if i click that color it will show me all the images which has that color in it so i have i can see like that has a very nice brown in that image so i can click that and try and look for visually similar images um you can basically store anything in, in this software like i've even got um a section for 3 studio max and like different um tutorials and stuff that are found on the internet um so the good thing about this software is it also integrates uh with your browser so you don't have to actually save any image manually what you can do is basically if you click and hold on any image in a browser it will give you this window and you can just drag and drop it there and you will see that small window pop up so now if i go back into my software it will come come up as uncategorized because it just got saved uh, by default there and then i can basically just drag and drop into the proper tag location where i want it to stay i would 100 recommend this software 
to keep all your visual library just in one place. So this was the part two of all the softwares that I use uh, to keep everything organized and so that I can keep myself on top of everything uh, I'm working on. So if you like the video, please hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one.